Hello everybody, welcome to the first round match between Martin Septim and his Amazons and Debesa and his Necromantic team. In the booth with me is Purple Chest and Dimmy G. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. An, an amazing start. Uh, right, so the Amazons have got a strength five Amazon line woman, which is pretty amazing. And a smattering of guard and one mighty blow. So not a lot to the Amazon team. Uh, they have a bribe and a wizard, no Roxana, and uh, the base has got a really nice necromantic team, I think. Uh, kind of min max, right? Guard on the whites, block guard on the ghoul, block guard on the fleshies, block sure hands on the on the other ghoul, and then two super wolves. So, like this is an amazing, amazing necro team, I think. One of it's my favourites for the cup. Um, and it, I mean, it's it's an Amazon team. It does have that strength five, though she has nothing else. It has a couple of other sort of okay players, but nothing that spectacular. You would imagine it would get deleted in fairly short order here, mm. um, but maybe not. The one I mean, thing that, yeah. that they don't have a huge amount of is tackle on the Necro team. There is two, but not loads. Yeah, frenzy tackle, though, isn't it? So. And like Trific was saying, when he won it with uh, Necromantic, he was saying like, Agi on the wolf was like the big thing. Yes. Well, I mean, it, it, they can do so much with their speed, and it's getting them in and out when you want them to just hit and retreat. It, it's all sorts that it helps with. This is Karen on the shrimp fire. Mm. I mean, well, why not? It's a pretty hard deal with, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, hard to get the ball off. There's not much else it can do. You don't really want to blitz with it. It hasn't got block or wrestle. It doesn't have any kill skills. It's you know, it's it's a slightly worrying piece. At least this way, it's serving some purpose. Oh wow, he piles. Okay, I think oh. probably he should oh, not pile. <laughs> really? Mm, because this is. I think, you should have blitzed from, <laughs> I think you should have blitzed from here, right, and hit and run, right? Because mm. Martin has a bribe. And he has DP, and that's one of the ways he can win. Like, it's one of the only yeah. ways he can win, right? Absolutely. The thing. Well, it, you, we've already seen he took a not very high value target down and still failed it. So, how mm. much more do you think he's going to try and get something into that wolf and kick it? Yeah. It's, it's pretty tough, though. Even with jugs, it's pretty tough from here. It is, it is, but I just, I just don't like it. I just, he's defended it so much that he's left half the field open for this Amazon team to just run up into space if they choose. That's what I'd be choosing now. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have loved to have fouled that wolf, but he's going to overprotect it. Well, he's given me space elsewhere. Yeah. And sure enough, that's what Martin Septon sees too. Martin Septon sees. That's not something I want to say a lot. <laughs> Choosing not to get this extra block in favour of. No, taking all point. the space. Wow. Mm, very PC like. Yeah. I think even I'd have gone for that one. <laughs> It's the goal as well. Yeah, I guess the mighty blow spank on the goal. Oh. Nice. Standard goal hit result. <laughs> yep. You finally get the mighty blow tackle and do absolutely nothing. And the standard dwarf one dice there. Wonderful. I think that was as much about getting off the fleshy. Yes. Which he did very effectively. Yeah. Well, hey. <laughs> oh, what a lovely turn. I mean, in terms of seizing the space, look how much he has seized. Yeah. Uh, he, she, or they, of course. Yeah. It's safe to say he in Blood Bowl, though, isn't it? 99. I'd have thought with a name like Martin Septim, um, I would guess, but you never know. Yeah. 99.999 times you'll, you'll, you'll be correct if you say man in Blood Bowl. <laughs> That is a fast wolf. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah, Very I mean, but... Uh, yeah. That is the problem, yes. Uh, it is. Just fucking it, around. It's, it's, can they hold enough in the backfield to allow them to? Mm. So that wolf, if that doesn't leave, the two fleshies at the back, yeah, I think they can get another couple of turns out of this. Yeah, but... They need to be as selective in their hitting as they were last turn. But can they get eight that turns? That's the sure. problem. No. I don't. Yeah, I don't think eight is on the cards here at the moment. Not without a removal of a wolf or something. But this is when you tend to get that chance to chip something. 
Yes, that, that's a good point. Every elf team. <laughs> None of them wanted to carry on this one. That was so that was such a weird challenge. So many plus strength elves and so few of them carrying on. Is um is there a bribe for the Amazons or is it just a wizard? There is a bribe, yep. Yeah. Oh that follow means that the ball was exposed. Ah but it's yeah, like I, I don't blitz in. Risky. Well, he wants to hit the wolf. Yeah. He exposing strength five. <laughs> he didn't even want to hit that ghoul. Really, he just wanted to hit that wolf. Ooh. I mean, I don't blame him. Super. Yeah, exactly. He's got, you know, he's got a, he's, he's got to increase his risk profile a bit, hasn't he? He is, yeah. he is severely out, uh, out qualityed in terms of team. Hundred percent. I mean, so far, I like the decisions he's taken. When the space was offered, yes, that wolf pal was there, but it was too well defended. So instead, left it behind and took the space. I thought that was the right decision. Um, there, it was a rowdy go at that wolf, but if he takes one of these wolves out, it totally changes the game, so I didn't hate it. Yeah. He's stalled up with a touchdown at will. It's how long he can hold it there, isn't it? Yeah. That's what we're all wondering. He's actually yeah. being rowdier than bloody deer, man. <laughs> <Is> <laughs> yeah. That, that yeah, very rowdy. Pom wolves are fascinating. Like, I just, I don't know. I just, but, like... I've seen Diamond use it to like great effect, but uh, it's oh, just seems. Like oh. So if I want to blitz with the other fleshy, I guess he's just going to blitz with a wall. Cause he's got Did he just um, throw an apple at KO? Did he? And turn it into a stun? No. No, surely not. No. It just bangs it in. Bangs it in, okay. Well, it's not like a team with two um, move nine, one of them AG4 wolves will be able to score quick. I think there's every chance he can stall this up for the next uh, five turns. Yeah. yeah, this is set up for the 2 1 win. There is, however, the wizard. There is the whiz. Uh, yeah, I mean, the 2 1 win for who? Like, it could be set up for the 2 1 win for the Amazons if they get a god wizard in there. Well, we're talking about this last game, Jim. You do certainly want to leave enough turns, and Amazons are not quick. But if you are looking to turn over and be 2 0 at the half and then just survive, yeah. you need enough turns to make them bring the ball forwards, whiz it off them, get it, and score. So the Amazons leaving themselves four turns to do that is probably not, probably about the right number. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, probably. So perhaps that does point towards an attack on the necromantic ball this half. Going straight for the balls. But this is a really nice necro team, isn't it? Like it's not that yeah. nice, obviously. Like you'd want, you want more skills in it, but really TV efficient. He's um, looks like he's just yeah. I'm gonna carry on the goal because like you don't want your wolf getting bolted, do you? So it's so. like no. At this point, you, I think yeah, it's a blodge. Shorthand's ghoul, it's not particularly invested in, is it? There are other ghouls that can pick it up, or the wolves, so that as your your bolt target of choice, your lightning rod. Hmm. Lovely deep kick though. Yeah, that is that is very helpful. It's not bad, is it? <laughs> well, particularly with the Wiz, you, you can't trust a single ball carrier, can you? Because the, the lightning is so likely yeah. to break armor on AV7. And he's a buddy. Mm. All power and Volcage. Mm. No AV break though, diced again. Yeah. It is, it's so difficult to get an Amazon down that when you do and they still don't break the armour, it's heartbreaking at times. <laughs> yeah. Horrible blocking yeah. pattern there, has left himself... Um, Yeah, you've got, you've got to block this guy also, first, so, yeah. you know, then so you'd have a three dice here, right? No, you wouldn't have. Never mind. Disregard. It was just all bad. <laughs> it was just all bad. I didn't like the blocking pattern, but at least he's abandoned it and not made it worse by trying to blitz into it and solve it somehow. Yeah. No fucking, no blitz. Like I said, I mean, you could have blitzed the wolf into the 
piece that's right in front of the line of scrimmage, but the problem is, is that I, even on a push, you were either pushing the other one out or you were leaving yourself marked afterwards, and the, which, the wolf would have been available. <laughs> it's okay. wow. he, could have put, he could have pushed in the flesh, he'd look at me. Oh, no, he, oh, maybe he couldn't have got there and back. Yeah. I don't know where the wolf started. Maybe he ran out of time. Oh, that's a big power zone. Well. Mm. It's getting some good powers here. Is well, and he felt that you can tell he's feeling the pressure because he didn't stand firm, so he decided to pull back and hold the line of scrimmage on the midfield line. Yeah, allowing himself to be pushed off those uh, other two Amazons. But of That's course, a... that creates space for Martin Septim. Great couple of uh, armor breaks there. Yep, huge. Yeah, comedy mega. Draw. Uh, yeah, because I thought, yeah, I thought he was going to blitz the stand phone with the wolf when he put the assist yeah. in, but I was looking at the right hand side, I don't know why. I mean, the right hand side gets you back to your fleshies, yeah. What? How, why do you, why would you palm that? You're trying to move forwards quickly. Got... I wouldn't mind hitting the dirty player either. You gotta, you gotta palm them. <laughs> you yeah, don't, exactly, yeah, hit, hit the, the dirty law. player. It, I would want to keep the fleshies involved, like it seems bad to get away from your fleshies, doesn't it? And for one of your really fast pieces to start with three moves like this. <laughs> yeah. Great. Well he's probably next turn anyway and they're all, <laughs> they're all pretty close. <laughs> oh, is he going to foul the wolf here? I think he might. I thought so. Is that a double dodge? It's a double dodge, right? Because it's got... Yeah, for the dirty player, yeah. But he could just... He's got a rookie there, he could foul him. Would you, would you risk the double dodge? No. Oh, he's blocked the square anyway. Yeah, well, I guess he can move back to the fleshies now. But it's, it doesn't really get him off the pitch fast enough. Before. Yeah, that's the problem. And there is the removal, and there was oh. the danger with the pylon. Oh, the gym, I hate to say I told you so, but... No, I don't. I love it. I love saying it. I told you so. That was not the bomb to do. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I know it wasn't as well. I, even I wouldn't have piled on like the first thing he did where he protected... Yeah, I mean, there are some where you should if you've got the skill. Um, tactically, it's fine. You can defend the position all that sort of stuff. But we saw him over-defend the first bomb he did, which I didn't love. And um, I mean, he defended it really well, but it did give that space that led to the very easy touchdown. Yep. There wow, rerolls. Well, straight out. Rerolls are one in nine there. That could be very costly if something goes wrong here. Well, he's got a spare reroll, so he has one to use this turn, but it, it being gone with things to do is always a slight worry, isn't it? Yeah, massive worry. Well, that doesn't seem like it's very safe. So he's reconnected with the fleshies, but a bit half fast. Yeah, urgently did that block to work, for example, which it did, though. And this one as well. <laughs> so it's... Oh, here comes the bolt. And the removal. There's a lot of players down for the Necron now. It really is. This is a bit... This is a little bit uh, optimistic still, the edge four a long way away. Yeah, it's... Oh my but god, there is that, uh, there is that dirty player in the backfield which can give an assist on the wolf. I mean, there's. And hence, someone straight into the backfield just in case. And yeah, like that. Ends. And Kaz himself. Yeah, I didn't really think that was a great wizard. <laughs> no, I. No. Not the best wizard I've ever seen. Gets the tackle off the ghoul. Well, if he's serious about scoring, he would have to have left the fleshies behind next turn. Yeah. So surely you just put something into the backfield and hold your fire for one more turn. Yeah. But... I guess he doesn't have to leave them behind, right, with movement nine. Like, he's okay, he's put him in there. He didn't have to put him in there. He's moved nine, so he doesn't have, He only has to get in, like, a couple sure. of squares. Yeah, it's, yeah, you're right. He could have stayed behind the flesh clubs. 
or he could just potato like that. <laughs> yeah, he could potato. <laughs> um, I think he hasn't seen the Amazon, or just can't afford. To yeah, he didn't even he didn't even do the the proper trick where you put him in the logo. <laughs> Oh. So this is an armor break. This is an Amazon. Yeah, I think stop. he was too deep to be reached. Yeah, he was, yeah. So do you try and get an assist for this blitz? Well, it's three two two to get the assist. Um, be tempted. You can actually just. If you move the white, again, well, not anymore. You've gone into the space. It can be... No, I'm right. It is a three-two-two. Ah, you can power that. You can power the. Now you can go through the easy side and make it there without any problems. Mm. Wow. Well, because all that hitting worked, he gets there. What? And now it's uh, a juggernaut, mighty blow tackle. <laughs> oh. No. Armor break Gets as well. him. Hit stop. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yep, both stunned. <laughs> so, 1 0 at the half. So now the wizard not looking too bad, like it stopped the score. It did. Oh! And he's got, got the ball. Range? Yeah, he's got someone that oh he should have really. He could have he oh, scored. Yeah, he could have Just... scored. Wow. <laughs> So yeah, the Wiz, I would have preferred to have it that turn, but he did a very good job uh, defending that two turn, that uh, short drive. Nearly got the 2-0 uh, the that would have been so decisive. And, uh, wow. Only one row, uh, KO roll for Necro as well. And a few, right? So Basin's yeah. really going to have to pull himself together for the second half, isn't he? Yeah, four guys KO'd and done nothing to the zone. Yeah, zone. absolutely. And, and the Wolf as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's huge. Huge! Well, only one wolf and one white goes off the pitch there, so we can assume rather bad KO rolls. And if we cared about oh. dice logs... Wow! Oh, man! If we cared oh, about dice logs, I think we would see that they skewed very heavily in one direction here. Every time those Amazons have gone down, and they have been powered a lot, I don't recall even a lot of stuns. They've all just stood back up. Yeah. How many net is this? Nine. Well, not enough. I guess he can carry on the wolf now, though. Less than enough. Yeah, nine is very bad, isn't it? It's looking really good for It is. Stuff, I but... mean, it's doable with nine. If the second wolf had come back, and that was part of the nine, I'd be a lot happier. Nine with one wolf, you just can't lose anything more, can you? And you're getting dirty player fouled every single turn, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you certainly should be. <laughs> Unless he lets you blitz the dirty player, I guess. There, there is that. If there's a lord in the heavens, it's fouling Necro. <laughs> I guess that's the other thing with the wolf being his only tackle on the pitch as well. I guess now he's not wanting to carry on it because he wants to blitz with it. Yeah, and also it means he can't frenzy trap. Like you know, like he can be frenzy trapped, so like he couldn't blitz that dirty player with his tackle. Could he? Oh my god! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> well. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> no, look, Amazons are slow. The ghoul and the wolf can just hide in the backfield until the others stand up. It's not over! Remember, remember <laughs> they stand up before that one stunned Amazon. <laughs> it's not so... You just yeah. need the, the golems to hand, stand firm. The problem look, is... You've is got, the, the you've got two whole players that then just have to reach those golems at some point next turn. Yeah, the Amazons can just else. walk past all these guys on the floor. Yeah, which is fine. And then next turn you break for where these flesh golems are and try and just get between them. Or... <laughs> I mean, you're you're it's really one hard. zone. There's one zone, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> really important one. One of the guards, Dimmy. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The most important zone. His favourite player. Well, he's fouling the white now as well, which is the, probably the worst thing that's come out of the pitch invasion. Mm. The utter lack of players. <laughs> yeah. 
Hopefully get this secondary hit on that, uh, that zombie. Yep, pretty nice. Good play rewarded. Outrageous. Huge value. Nine. You do nothing. Now there's sort of almost a cage over on that right flank. Yes. Kind of. Yes. Sort of formable. Oh, I don't like following that. I would definitely not followed. Oh, and then blitz the guard. Yeah. Let's go on. Or yeah, try and just like make a bit of space for yourself, you know. Oh, yeah, he, 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 like, he's not he's not controlling a lot of space, is he? That's the point. No. But he's yeah, I think that wolf could have gone forwards and he could have had a proper little uh, cage there. But this is okay. Yeah, it's not. It's okay. I mean, considering the position he was in with the um, with the pitch invasion, I think he would have taken this. Yeah. Like, it's still That's terrible, though, isn't blitz. it? <laughs> no, it is still terrible, of course. <laughs> but yes, there was, no, there was no good result to be had. Yeah, so it's, it's not a real but criticism. Yeah, I mean, if, if there is no good, you know, the, the w least worst is, um, is suddenly acceptable. Mm. A DP foul. In Blood yeah. Bowl, as in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised he went kick off return before block. Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? What is that um that big empty black hole the hole the key keeps posting? Is that the That's Gadanix the... gaping hole? <laughs> I thought it was Tron Tottenham's trophy cabinet. <laughs> oh that's definitely mine. <laughs> Now he's getting away from the fleshies. Uh, that's my bank account. Well, I mean, with that stun particularly, I wouldn't mind a cheeky little hand off to the wolf now. Yeah. Get on your fastest piece. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that nope. is. See, instead, uh... doesn't go for it because he's not as fast as the wolf. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. That's the thing, you can't die time. from a handoff, but you can die from a GFI. <laughs> wow. Well, whilst was... it would have been entirely di different dice, because it's an independent, different decision, which the random number generator would have treated as such. If it was the same dice, you're right. I would have failed the handoff, but I would still be standing. Yep. Standing. This is, this is a... Uh... A failed Jehua fired into death bait, that's what this is. <laughs> you said this Amazon Dean team didn't have much chance. Uh, it's got a lot of chance now. Yeah, it's got a lot of chance now. Oh, the kickoff return before block was a mistake. He was drunk when he picked it. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh, that's actually uh, Martin Septum. Yeah. Hello, Martin. <laughs> I mean, I've never taken pass block at first skill on a Chaos Warrior. <laughs> I have no idea what you're on about. <laughs> <laughs> never even been drunk? Yeah. <laughs> Except that time I got spiked. Oh, yeah. No, I won't yeah. I've been spiked before. Until I'm yeah, victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. You got four years I will later defend. with a, a wife and a kid, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Diced. No toast. No. Diced again. <laughs> Hello, Papa Piccio. Thank you very much for staying fantastic for 52 glorious minutes. There goes the ball. And yes, there's the ball. Oh, it's the and it's right where you'd choose to put it down if you were the if you were the um, Amazons. Amazons. Yeah. What's that new skill? Uh... Is it on the ball? No, is Save it safe air rounds? That's it. That lets you well, yeah, you can bear. choose where to place it. That's... Do you think anyone's ever going to get that skill? I yeah. guess on well, a it... random. Like... Terrible There's players, players that start with it, so those ones for sure. Who play... Who starts with safe pair of hands? Terrible players. Like, terrible oh, players will choose. I, I thought you meant like... 
the Chaos right. Renegade thrower. Yeah, the Chaos terrible, Renegade thrower does. Terrible, terrible thrower that terrible no, terrible nobody should Why ever take, it? but people no, will. No, because you should be poor carrying with your Dark Elf. Yeah, but is people will because people are terrible, right? So there's, yes. there's terrible players, and so it's just like, it's basically like a skill, a skill testing thing, isn't it? Which is a shit cop-out, if you ask me. Um, well, you'd probably take it as your leader caddy, wouldn't you? No. <laughs> It's their only leader caddy access player, so no, you still didn't. carry on your dark elf, but you take the human ridiculous skill thrower as non throwing thrower as a uh, leader caddy, maybe. I mean, I for NAF know. builds, you want a leader caddy. Oh, yeah, maybe for NAF builds. You know. But then why the hell are you taking him? So I still wouldn't, because I would never, ever, ever, no, ever, ever play either. Chaos Renegades. No, I wouldn't either. <laughs> So I can safely say that no, I would never take it. <laughs> no, Imperial and Ability Throwers don't get... Um, yeah, running past they get, which is another terrible... Get running past, which another, is anything even less used. Yeah, another terrible, <laughs> useless skill. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, utterly, utterly useless. <laughs> Yeah, lad. Yeah, he hasn't. He hasn't done anything wrong, has he? Maybe, maybe the wizard was a bit uh, was a bit dodgy, but um, apart from that, done the right things. And uh, obviously, the main thing that he did right was the one god tier dice. <laughs> yeah, that mostly covered it. <laughs> it I mean, it, again, didn't have any bad plans. There was nothing you thought, "What the hell?" Yeah. But then there really wasn't from the necro particularly much of it. Yeah. It just sort of all worked for the Amazons and never really did for the neck, right? Yeah. I'd love to say that some of the, you know, heavy fouling, which there has been, caused all of this, but it, it sort of didn't really. Yeah, it's a really weird game, isn't it? The one piling yeah. on Wolf was removed by it, but... Which was a big swing of the momentum. Mm. Oh, we're going for a handoff. Yeah, some bad PO decisions from the Necro, I do think, were, were poor. Yeah. And blitz targets and stuff. Uh, I disagreed with more from the Necro than his so. Yeah. Yeah, same here. Shame but then, but they, were in a, they, were in a, they were in a tougher position for much of the game, right? Which is... They were, which they also perhaps didn't expect coming in. Yeah. So perhaps they were mentally prepared for that. Yeah. Yeah, coming in this game, you just, I'm going to... I'm gonna ruffle stomp these guys, <laughs> and then all of a sudden he backs Maybe against the wall. Maybe the other way around. Yeah. Amazons may not win Chalice, but these ones certainly still have a shot. Howdy, Rowdy mm. flipping dice indeed. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Martin Septon. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't. Well, like, that's the thing. Like, and and that's the thing that uh, that I pissed Guinness off when I said he got really lucky when he won the World Cup. But it didn't mean that it, you know it's not saying that he played worse, right? At the end of the day, people not can play and better then. and still get really lucky. And uh, yep. this this is one of I mean, those like, times, I think. I don't think there's. I mean, this was. But I don't. I don't think there's ever been a chalice coach that hasn't been like that's won it that hasn't been lucky at some point. Yeah, well, like, I think you'll find in every single game of Blood Bowl, one person is luckier than the other person. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm fairly, fairly sure of that. Which yeah. means that, yes, luck is likely to be part of most outcomes. Some people will play brilliantly, but also have the luck. Some people will play brilliantly and not have the luck. Yeah. They can be independent of each other. Yeah. So saying someone was lucky doesn't mean they didn't use it well, or play for it, or feel they needed it. You know, there's all sorts of good ways that could be a compliment. Yeah. So there you go. The stadium's diced. So there you go. Congratulations, Martin Septum. Commiserations, yeah. De Besa. Thank you very much, PC and Dimmy. An honour, Jim. Up the arsenal. And uh, hey. <laughs> thanks, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>